Okay, finally, we are going to talk about writing module and then we start your mock test. As far as writing is concerned, first of all, they will give you writing answer sheet. Write your name down on it, academic or gender training, write all these things, right? At that time, test will not start. Only you have the answer sheet, you're writing your name down and other credentials and all that. Then they're going to put question booklet on your table, right? And question booklets will be placed on your table and you'll not be allowed to touch. When all the question booklets placed on the table, then examiner, exam supervisor will announce, candidates, you can start your writing test now. And good luck. So you pick up the test and then you start in all. Uh, have you seen one episode of Mr. Bean where he's got trigonometry exam and yes. yeah, yes. he's got calculus at trigonometry. It's in the paper. And you see the same supervisor there and all that. So it's going to be the same because it's all from Britain, so like that. Now, the first thing you have to do, you have to read the topic of essay. When you get your question booklet, you will read the topic of your essay. And first thing you're going to do is you need to identify type of essay, right? You read the topic and you say, oh, it's opinion. You say, oh, it's discussion. Then you say, oh, it's all. <laughs> or anything like that. Advantage is disadvantage. And if it isn't clear whether it is opinion, then if it is a double question essay, a double question essay covers two type of essays. One question can be about reasons. One question can be about solution. One question can be about uh, opinion. And one question can be about suggestion. So it's anything. In case of double question essay, you have to write two paragraphs to cover those two questions. Otherwise, if it is only opinion, you know the number of paragraphs for opinion essay should be five. Advantages, disadvantages essay, how many paragraphs will you write? Six or four. You have two choices. Introduction, advantage number one, advantage number two, disadvantage number one, disadvantage number two, conclusion. Or introduction, two advantages in one paragraph, two disadvantages in another paragraph and conclusion. It's all up to you. So, so say, huh? Yeah. No, no, they will never say that. They will say what are the advantages and disadvantages of. They, they will never say in singular. Right. Okay, don't worry. So you're going to identify the topic and then you need to underline important words which are related to the topic. There is one thing off the topic. If you write off the topic, there is serious penalty on that. If you write memorized answer, okay, so it's not going to give you good bench score. Again, you'll get low bench score. If you use any template and your own English does not match with the template, right? Like hoor ke saath langur. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that will bring you low. You, you know what I mean. The template wala sentence hoor, apna sentence langur. Okay, <laughs> that will be the reason for low bench score, and examiners can catch these type of students easily. All right? Yeah, exactly. Chale <laughs> rehne Okay, just something came to my mind. Uh, anyways, you need to just if you want to use the template, make sure your own sentences are also good enough to match with the template. After spending one to two minutes on essay writing so that your brain starts working on the topic and what to write and how many paragraphs, now come to task one. Task one, if you are academic, it will be report writing. If you are gender training, it will be letter writing. And for report writing, there are four types. Graph with a trend, comparative graph, process diagram, and maps. And you can easily identify. Once you identify, then you know how many paragraphs. First paragraph, introduction. Second paragraph, overview. And the next two body paragraphs. Okay? So in report writing, you don't have to think too much because you are going to describe the data. For essay writing, you have to think more. So for report writing, in 15 minutes time, try to complete your report. And then come to essay writing and first plan it, whatever you're going to write. And then after planning carefully, you can start writing your essay. All clear? And uh, don't forget to give yourselves minimum five minutes for proofreading, for essay writing and report writing. Through proofreading, you can correct your careless mistakes. And sometimes if you proofread your essay and report or letter carefully, you can increase your half band. Because when you write, you are in a different state of mind. When you read what you write, 
now you are in a different state of mind so reading your writing it can improve your bench score by half if you read it all carefully okay